Hi, I'm Nick. And in this video, we're going to explore the custom styling and animation options for your Squarespace announcer bar using Square Kicker. In the second part of this video, we will look at using the announcement bar as a secondary navigation. To get started, you will need to enable the Squarespace announcement bar. You can find us either in the Squarespace website tools under the website tab or in the marketing tools under the marketing tab. Enable the announcement bar and type in your message. You can also change specific words to bold, italic, and underline, and even create external or internal links to other pages on your site. In a little bit, we will show you how these can be used to create even more customizations using Square Kicker. Now that your Squarespace announcer bar is enabled, we can customize this using Square Kicker using the announcer bar tool found in both the page and site-wide tools of your Square Kicker menu. Here you will find all your styling options. The first thing we're going to customize is the layout. You can add a margin around your announcer bar to create an inset design or individually set the margin for each side. If you would like an announcement bar that stays in place as you scroll, you can fix it to the top, bottom, or either side of your screen. I'll head into the background now and select a background color from my palette. When your announcement bar is fixed and you change the transparency of your background color, this allows your announcement bar to blend into your site. Try playing around with the background gradients using transparent colors. Take things to the next level by increasing your transparency of your background and choose from one of the list of filters such as the grayscale, the invert, blur, or custom where you can apply a mix of these filters, including a hue rotation, which changes the colors of the background as the website passes through the filter. The border tool allows you to add a border around your announcement bar. You can customize the color, thickness, the sides, and even round the corners. The font tool gives you the ability to style the text in the announcement bar, such as the font family, the color, and more. You also have control to style each font type that you're using, such as the bold, italic, underline, and links. The announcement bar is also equipped with a hover option. You can style many aspects of the announcement bar on hover, including background, border, text, and the close button. Add or remove spacing in your announcement bar by using the vertical or horizontal spacing options or select custom to add spacing to a specific side. In the corner of your announcement bar is a close icon and you can customize the size, the color, and hover of this icon with Square Kicker. You can also hide the close icon if you want to remove the ability for your visitors to close your announcement bar. This is particularly useful if you want to repurpose the bar as a secondary navigation which I'll show you during the second part of this video. You can control the visibility of your announcement bar, which can be useful if you do not want to show this on every page. There are two ways to achieve this. If you want to hide the announcement bar on most pages, but show it on a single or few pages, go to the site settings, announcement bar, visibility, and toggle hide. Then go to the page settings of the page you would like it to be visible and toggle hide off. If you want to show the announcement bar on most pages and hide it on a single or a few pages, leave your site settings as they are, and on the page you would like it to not show, toggle the hide button on. Lastly, using the device toggles, you can customize your announcement bar for each size screen to ensure everything looks good on every device. A unique way to repurpose a Squarespace feature is a secondary navigation bar with links to specific places on your site or an important call to action. In this example, I'm going to create a fixed secondary navigation with anchor links. First, head to the announcement bar text and add your navigation, making sure to set each link with a hashtag followed by the same anchor link section ID created using the Square Kicker anchor links tool. If you haven't created Square Kicker anchor links before, watch our tutorial on creating anchor links. Fix the announcement bar to the top, bottom, or side of the screen and use the margin to space it away from the edge. We can't wait to see what you create with Square Kicker and all the uses you will find for the announcement bar tool. 
Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.